My name is Thomas Johansson. I'm 49 years old. I live in Santa Barbara and I work at Village Properties and I'm a heart transplant survivor. November 5th of 2017 was the lowest point in this entire procedure. I had been told there would be a heart for me soon and I was having a tough time seeing the end of this. Thomas came to work at Village Properties. Thomas was very healthy, you know, active, always wanting to be outside. I've been cycling since I was a kid. One day I was out cycling, I started feeling some wheezing. Went to the doctor, I asked to have some x-rays done. When I got to the cardiologist, he immediately diagnosed me with cardiomyopathy. He came and told me that, that he had this virus that was attacking his heart. The doctors were trying all kinds of procedures and all kinds of things. It was, he needed, he needed somebody's heart to, um, to survive. That November 5th was a low point, and even though it's hard for me to admit, I was starting to feel some depression. And I spoke to my nurse, and I said to her that maybe we should reconsider those antidepressants. I was literally praying um, for help from my late mother who had passed when I was six years old. Was there. The following day, my same amazing nurse, she came in and told me that she had the news that I had been waiting for. And I just broke down. I thought, wow, this is pretty incredible how that worked out. at him today you're like oh my gosh you know he's just amazing when he came back he said I, I want to do what I can to help the Heart Association what I'm doing now is I'm mentoring heart patients just using myself as the example I'm the outcome I'm the the final product which they're gonna get to also he feels so grateful for what he has and um, and everyone that's cared about him from doctors and nurses and I mean he's just had amazing care. I want to thank you nurses for giving me hope, helping me stay strong through this process. <laughs>